Hamptons Fort Monroe is set to close in September due to the BRAC process. Today marks the last Fourth at the Fort celebrations there as an active post. And 10 on your side's Ava Hurdle reports that made the holiday nostalgic for some. We salute those who have sacrificed. Dozens turned out at Continental Park on Fort Monroe to observe the 235th birthday of our nation. Thanks to our forefathers for their vision, and thanks to our military around the world for their dedication and service. Happy Fourth of July to each of you. May we continue to celebrate our freedom in freedom. New Hampshire, June 21st, 1788. Virginia, June 25th, 1788. Big booms from big guns. Howitzers fired as each state named in the order it joined the Union. Sad feeling. The last uh, salute to the Union here. Bittersweet for Mike Nostein, who retired from the Army at Fort Monroe and now works here. It's become a part of me. It, it, I retired here. Um, there's a tree inside the moat that I retired under. Well, we lived in several uh, sets of quarters here on Fort Monroe. They have value to us. And it has value to this man who goes by the name Captain Carl. He'd like to see its 565 acres become a national park. And we're not going to lose it to anybody but the people. The people have to maintain it. The people have to claim possession of this wonderful treasure. And if we continue to utilize whatever it has, uh, it will stay alive. Construction on Fort Monroe started in 1819 to defend the coast and is the largest stone fortification in the U.S. Following the big gun salute, a concert and fireworks display are planned for later this evening. At Fort Monroe, Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side. Musicians Bradley Gaskin and Grant Austin Taylor are set to open tonight's show at Fort Monroe, followed by a concert with 38 special and fireworks. The event is free to the public.